In this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay the epic jam Space Vado by John Garcia and the Band of Gold. What's going on? My name is Jared and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Let's get right in it. We are in C, standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune down a couple steps, and let's do this. intro of the song really sets us up nicely and creates this really cool vibe. All we're doing is essentially playing octaves of C. So we have one on the fourth string open. Then we have one on the third string, seventh fret. And the first string, ninth fret. And we hit all three of those notes and just let them ring out. The note on the second string should be muted by your first string, by your first finger. So we play that chord, just let it ring out for a couple measures. Last measure, we introduce the kind of syncopated riff that's coming later in the song and ends with a slide from 5 up to 12. So Next up, we go into what I'm calling the A section where it's still slow, but we're kind of developing a theme. The phrase starts out, open C, then we go 12th fret on the second string. Then it's a slide from that 12th fret up to the 14th fret. We hold this note down, let it ring out while we catch these other two open. So it's then we finish 10, sliding up to 12, back down to 10 on the third string. Next phrase, we're gonna go to the 10th fret on the third string. Uh, basically 10, 12, slide up to 14, all on that same string, then 12 on the second string, hammer on to 14. Next phrase starts back on that 10th fret of the third string, then we're going to do a, a bend on, tw on the 12th fret, same string. Then we go 12 on the second string, 10 on the third string. Back to the 12. And back up to our 14th fret, second string. Here's the full phrase. Last phrase is basically the same as the ending of that intro. So kind of syncopated open strings and then a five sliding up to 12. to the B section where things really heat up. They go into double time and it just gets really fast. So it starts out fifth fret, second string. Then we go down fifth fret, third string. So 
So the phrase revolves around this open C and this seventh fret C on the third string here. So it's. From there, we go seven, five, five. And we play it twice. So here's the opening phrase. So the phrase ends the same way we came in. So it's fifth fret and fifth fret on the second and third string. check out the bass solo this thing is killer it's really fast and took me a while to work this thing up uh it's basically in three kind of small phrases so here's the first phrase the phrase starts out six slides down to five and then we do three then we do 5-3 open. Then we do, where are we at? We go 3 open 3. So from there, we slide from 5 up to 7. And we're going to kind of go back and forth between 5th fret on the 3rd string, 7th fret on the 4th string. Ending on the root note, seventh fret, third string. So here it is one more time. <laughs> so cool. Next, we play that same phrase just in a higher register. So instead of playing six sliding down to five, we come up to the eighth fret on the second string. Then we rock back and forth between the second and third strings. From there, we're going to slide up to the ninth fret. Then seventh fret on the first string and go back and forth. Here's what we got so far. Then we're going to kind of just syncopate this seventh fret on the first string. Finish on this octave here, ninth fret, first string. Here's the full phrase. You know what's coming next. We're going to play the same thing, just an octave higher. This time we're going to extend the run a little bit. So we're gonna start 14th fret on the first string. So you could do 15 sliding down to 14. You could do a bend. Or you could do one of these bluesy things. You can play any of those three variations and it's going to sound great. So from there, the pattern restarts again, this time on the 12th fret of the first ring. Walking down the, the blues scale. Uh, after that phrase, it comes back to the 12th fret on the second string. Then we do those that chromatic run here, 14, 13, 12. So far, from there we go back into that really original phrase, sliding from 13 down to 12. If you break it into those three small patterns, it becomes much easier to memorize and to kind of to feel and to, and to hear. Really helps you out. Before we get into the next riff, I just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. 
your support means the world to me and makes all of these videos happen. Thank you so much. After the solo, we go back into the B section uh, the same way as before. And then it's that same syncopation. So we play that the same, I think it's eight bars. Then we go into the B2. This is basically building on the first B section. So here's the first phrase, nice and slow. Second phrase, nice and slow. So here's those first two phrases put together. Then we ride the seventh fret here, the root, back down to the fifth fret. Back up to the fifth fret, second string. So it's a similar phrase, but we're just messing with the timing a little bit. From there we go into riff B3, which is the same rhythmic idea. We're just kind of introducing a new note, the fourth fret here on the C string. So it starts open C, then fourth fret C, then back to the fifth fret on the F string. Then we go back to the root. Fifth fret, second string. Seventh fret, first string. So. From there, we basically repeat those same four measures. Uh, we're just going to end writing out the root. So I'm just going to play this thing. <laughs> Maybe. Where are we? for checking out the video really hope you dug the lesson and if this is your kind of thing be sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell all that good stuff and we will see you in the next one